Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, go Sunday morning. I'm getting a late start today because it was cold as hell this morning. But we got a donor Jeep here at my buddy Seth's. And uh well it um it's got all black interior. And this thing here, damn it's sunlight. It's got this old tan colored interior. So this Jeep gave its doors for my blue Jeep. <laughs> so my buddy said, it's like, yeah, you can take the, uh, you can take the interior. He don't care. So yeah, we're going to work on getting some interior out of here today, but yeah, definitely these seats, the console, I'm going to dig in there and see if I can get to the back seat. So it's all good guys. I'll be back. We have got the black trim pretty much stripped out of here. <laughs> I even took the carpet in the front. I'm not worried about the carpet back here in the hatch. It's greasy, and with that big-ass speaker box going and that other Jeep, you're not going to notice it. What's crazy is this thing had all the black and a tan headliner. I've already done the headliner in the black Jeep. It was sagging in this spot the other day, but I, I pushed it back up. But anyway, so we'll have all black in there now pretty much. But, yeah, I got all the pieces, the seats. I mean, everything. Um few pieces here i don't need but the carpet is dirty i gotta take it home hit it with the power washer but yeah i'm pretty impressed i mean we kicked butt i still gotta get the back door panels the only thing i still have left to get out of here are these back door panels and then uh, i'm gonna pull the seats out of my jeep and put those seats in it to drive it home if not i'm not gonna have enough room for for all this stuff but we got a dog over. I think he's getting ready to shit on the carpet. Yeah. He, <laughs> I'd, I'd have been sad if he had a squat pissed on it or something. Oh, no, no. No. He was just going to lay down. He was circling like he. Can... <laughs> oh, I'd have been sad. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. I know it's going to be a boring video this week. Uh, just because it was cold and really, really, I really didn't have anything to do today. And I'm like, shit, I got a hold of him the other day. And he's like, yeah, go ahead. So here I am. And now I'm about done. And it's just going to be a boring ass video tomorrow. You watching me try to swap this stuff over. If that's what I do tomorrow. But anyway, guys, um, shit, I guess that's all I got today. Peace out Here and too. base on. I got the driver's seat in. That's the difference between the passenger seat and driver. Like detachable headrest, but the color. But I got all these pieces. Like whatever's tan usually you see here. I did get the, the black ones out of that Jeep. So I'm gonna swap this seat here in the back seat, and I gotta throw all this stuff in the back seat area. And after that, I'll be done for today. Kind of wore out already. But tomorrow's another day. I don't know when I'm going to swap the carpet in here because I need to wash that carpet and wait on my power wire to come in so I can run all that through here at one time. But anyway, guys, I will be back. Check this out, guys. <laughs> I heard trying to get pussy in the Jeep got a bunch of cock. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just randomly, we come back to my Jeep and it's like, we got some damn chickens in the Jeep. Marty, come here. They straight Bye. hanging out in there. Bye. <laughs> what is up, amigos? Yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> we got this Jeep loaded down. Uh, pretty much. I even got this thing. This dome light and black. Um, all the pieces to make the dash all black. Uh, door panels, A pillar, like everything that I could. There was a couple little pieces that uh were broken that jeep and i couldn't i couldn't get them but uh i didn't take the rear carpet I just got, like i said earlier it, it had a bunch of greasy parts laying on it and there was a bunch of junk back it was just too much work 
I'm thinking with speaker box back there, you know, you're not gonna see much of the carpet, if any, anyway. So it didn't matter to me. I got the majority of stuff. I already got the black back seat in here. And the seats that I got out of it, even though they're dirty as hell, I like them. I mean, yeah, I had chickens in here. So obviously the, the guy, you know, he's cool as hell. But uh, he's got dogs, chickens, and that Jeep sit there. He did put a tarp over it. But when I took the doors off of it to put on Jangalang, it's been sitting six months with no doors on it. A tarp, but his dogs get in here laying the seats. They got dog hair on them. I didn't see no chicken crap, but uh, which is good. But I'm sure chickens have been in there. Chickens are in here. But I don't know, guys. Uh, you know, I need to get this stuff swipped, swapped over pretty soon. But like I said earlier, I need to clean that carpet. The carpet's on the roof, by the way. I got it strapped to the luggage rack. And, I mean, the whole back beside the speaker box around it laid on top of the lithium bank. I got plastic trim pieces. So the Jeep's loaded down. But uh, I need to run power cable through here and all that. So I need to wait on that to come in before I even do the carpet. And like these B-pillar pieces and stuff, the seats need to be out to do them. So I'm going to hold off, I think, on replacing a lot of this stuff until I run the power cable through it. That way I can do it all at one time. I'm going to swap what I can, like the dash pieces everything. I'll probably do tomorrow. But just being honest, you know, it's going to be a little bit probably before I get everything else swapped. But shifter console, everything will be black in here. So it's going to be like black Jeep, black interior, black wheels. I've even decided any sticker I put on the outside of it, it'll be like matte black. Just like murdered out. So that's where we're at. I did get a boat meter ordered to put in here. I couldn't get it black, obviously. I wasn't feeling purple, so I didn't do green because I got a green base knob and my daughter liked green. And like I said, it's her, you know, it was her Jeep. If she ever comes back from California, she's gonna be driving it. Because she drove it when she was here, you know. So, um, I'm gonna build something nice to daily drive for myself. And then if she comes back, she'll have something nice. Is what I'm thinking, you know. 312 is in it, try to hair trick. I don't know if we're gonna get a hair trick out of them or not. I designed an enclosure that should hair trick. We're just got to see, you know. But anyway, that's all I got, probably for the rest of the day. Uh, Cause I really, I need to get home and get the carpet off the roof of this thing and lay it out in my yard and just get it laying there. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna have to break my pressure washer out and some soap and uh, pressure wash it and let it dry, so. Anyway, that's where we're at. That's what I got going on, guys. And I'll be back. Maybe this evening. Who knows? You know how when I do videos. I thought I was done until I had chickens in the Jeep. <laughs> if there's any more chickens in the Jeep, I'm going to film it for you guys. You know that if I see it. But if not today, I'll be back tomorrow. Peace. Yeah, I'm back. You can't keep me away. <laughs> but I had everything. Like, this thing is like, I told you, it's full of parts. We got Deb. But it had good floor mats in it too. I mean, obviously they need power washed, but the carpet, you know, it's dirty, needs power washed. But man, I, I just, the seats are like really good condition that I got. You see her old carpet and floor mats. That's actually tan carpet guys, but um, like the seats look good. They're nice. The back seats just as good. Uh, they got the, the headrest to go up and down. Hers were just like one piece, but I got the black console with the black lid. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, see that? See this piece here? I got that in black. The, the dash end cap, the glove box in the end cap. And come to find out, this pops up. There's a screw under here, screw on the side, on the bottom, and behind the airbag cover. And this whole piece comes out on each side so that makes it a whole lot easier to swap this stuff around door panels and like these door sills see how that's bad that's bad look over there at how bad that is you know so i did get everything everything's in here
I'm just happy it's all going to be like dark colored. I wouldn't say it's black. It's more like uh, maybe dark gray, but anything's better than all that peanut butter color because I don't dig the peanut butter color, guys. Then I got all the covers that go on these, like over there, it's missing. Bam, got them. So now it's just going to be swapping this stuff out. But I do want to run the power wire before I do all that. I didn't even get this seat bolt tight because, like I said, I swapped them there. But, guys, you can do a lot spending a day at a, on a junk vehicle. We got all this stuff here to pull. Like I'm going to have to do some work to it for our Raptor liner, but hopefully it'll look like that. And then get about that much lift and some wheels and tires similar to those on here. And, yeah, it's, this old girl should look pretty good. <laughs> it looks like shit now. And I don't even know. This was like this when we got it. All these cut marks in the hood. Like, that was like that when we got this Jeep. Oh, yeah, Deb. Deb's good with a uh, sander. You give her a DA battery-powered sander and a couple sand dish, she'll have this whole thing done in an hour. <laughs> Maybe two. But <laughs> rusty top. <laughs> yeah, it does. Like, look at the roof, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take these all the way off, these rubber pieces, because they're peeling up in the front. So just get rid of them all the way. But anyway, guys, look at all that rusty water over where I had the carpet laid up there and all the sand. But anyway, I am, I am done for the day. I got to go eat, guys. It's lunchtime. Anyway, guys, guys peace it out. It is Monday morning. I had Chipotle for uh, supper last night. That's pretty good, I will say. But... I know some of y'all probably don't like Chipotle. And it's probably from the uh, the rectal bleeding, you know. Chipotle away. If you know, you know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know. But anyway, um, it is already like after 1 o'clock. And I haven't got anything, like nothing accomplished today. I will say the only thing that I probably did get accomplished is... Uh, I do have mids coming for the black Jeep. And uh, they are the G2 Genesis and some McLaren tweeters. That's what I decided to go with. I wanted something in there, G2, because, you know, uh, sponsor G2, you know, Team G2. But anyway, um, the Jeep is still full of trim pieces. I'll give you a <laughs> But I did get up this morning and... I get so much stuff in the mail because rather than going to like Walmart and buying crap, I like to shop on Amazon and uh, definitely we get a lot of boxes. So I had to hook the trailer up and uh, run and take boxes off, which is like a monthly thing. I got Deb back there. Um, Shout out to DJ Rusticles. DJ you know, always, always. But, um, yeah, so I am going to put, let me see here, this this thing is like floppy floppy. I don't have the handle. I found out it shows I have a handle right here, but I am going to uh, change that out because this one was kind of laid across my subwoofer, and I ain't got no base when it's laid up there. I don't want to turn the sub on. So I'm going to do that. We got the power washer out. We are going to power wash the carpet. And that's pro and floor mats, and that's probably all you're gonna get today, for the whole weekend, for video, just because it was cold as hell this morning. I got a late start, and then traffic. I mean, they had like it took me 45 minutes to get home from a 10 minute drive because traffic was so bad. They're doing road work, you know, you know how it is. But anyway, guys, that's all I got going today. It's probably not gonna be a lot. Boring ass video, definitely a boring ass video. But anyway, I'm gonna get started doing Debbie some stuff. over here putting in the work. She cleaning the carpet up for us. And I got this swapped out, which looks so much better than that one back there. It was this tan color. And right now, I'm getting a door panel ready. I had to steal some of the little clips from there. I needed two on here, so. But. It's all black. I figured I can get the back ones on today. I mean, I know it needs cleaned up a little bit. Don't worry, guys. I ain't even armor all this stuff yet. But getting the other one to kind of get y'all. Like, look at that. 
I just don't like the brown. And I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, I wouldn't even be doing this if my daughter didn't want this Jeep all black on black on black. And I know she's in California and it don't even matter anymore. But, you know, it was it was kind of her wish. So if she can't, and I've been ripping this stuff off. I still got a piece here. But, you know, that's what she wanted to do to it when she had it was lift it. Big wheels and tires, all black interior, black Raptor liner. That's what I'm doing. I'm so lucky to have a daughter that don't want like, you know, frilly bougie shit. My daughter loves old vehicles. To me, old vehicles have a soul. But yeah, I'm kind of grateful that I, I have a daughter like that. You know, she don't want a brand new car. She don't see a need in it. And I ran through dog poo. Yeah, when I was looping my yard to put my trailer back. We got the dog train to go to that end of the yard or way over in that corner. Yeah, he's a good boy. All right, guys. Deb's still working over there. She likes power washing, I think, which is really good for me. Got All right, on. I'll be back. It's so much better. Even them little scuffs, they'll, they'll clean up with some armor all, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll show you this other door for comparison. The old power washer is a little noisy, but yeah, look at that. That's horrible. Horrible, I tell you. Yeah, I got the other panel right there to dig out. <laughs> Trying to free me up some space in here. I don't want to do the front door panels yet because I still got to make uh, fiberglass pods um, and this stuff here. This can't go in until I rip all that trim out up there, which I need to remove the B pillars to do the B pillars. I had to seat out. When I take the seat out, so I want to do carpet. And when I do carpet, I want to do the, um, oh shit, uh, power wire. So it's a puzzle. But I'm putting on what I can for now today just to give you guys a little footage and to get ahead of some of this work. And oh, that carpet looks pretty good. You did good, baby. I don't like showing y'all Deb like working. I show you guys Deb out here doing work too much because. Then I get comments like, wish my wife would do stuff like that. In reality, Deb is 50% of this channel. She just don't want to be the, the voice or personality behind all of it. But she definitely does 50% of the work, guys. Like, she ain't one of the women that just sit around and watch me do stuff. It's like, the more she's out here, the more she wants to learn about doing it. So... <laughs> We got the power washer out, and I'm like, do you want to power wash while I change panels? And she's like, yeah. So she's over there kicking butt power washing. And I pulled a groin muscle yesterday, guys, so I'm limping like hell today. Don't even ask how I did it. I'm not sure. I think I did it in the other Jeep, lifting the carpet up to break the seal loose in the floor. But anyway, I'm like half-ass limping. And if you ever pulled a groin muscle, that shit hurts. I ain't going to lie to you. But anyway, that's really all I got going on. I done told y'all what I'm putting in here for midget highs. I will be doing two six and a halfs and two tweeters per door. I will tell y'all that much. So just because that's pretty much all I know. <laughs> but it's going to be a long build. These cold mornings really get me down. Um, I'm not a fan of cold weather at all. And luckily, like my old house, I wouldn't be able to do anything all day here. The sun shines and, you know, it can be down in like 45, 48 degrees. And when you actually get your butt in the sun, it, it feels pretty warm. So I'm blessed for that. But anyway, guys, I got, I got work to do. The carpet after power washing. Yeah, there are some bad spots, but God, it's, it came out of like a 2000 Jeep. And I only use Dawn. And all we use is Dawn so far. Uh, we have to hit this down here in these areas with a scrub brush a little bit. I, I can wait till I get it in to do most of them areas because a lot of them ain't going to be seen. Like all this here from here back is under the seat on a lot of it. But look here. Hi, say hi, Deb. Hi, guys. <laughs> we got the black door panels on the back. I do like it. I like, that'll, that'll armor all off. Hopefully, that'll armor all off. And I'll go to the other side and show you. Here's why I wanted to change door panels anyway, which is what started the whole 
black interior swap that crack you know the panel is going to be up in this area here like from here forward and that would have stuck out i don't want a fiberglass back that far and i knew seth that's the buddy that gave me the doors for jangalang which i think is ironic the front panels are being here off of the front doors of jangalang <laughs> It all works out. But yeah, them were the panels that came off of Jenga Lang's doors. So it's kind of like parts of that Jeep's on there and here. Which I do kind of like. But I ain't going to swap the front doors until I can use these for mock-up for everything. So it'll it all work out. In my mind, it, it plays out great. In reality, I don't know. But all I know is I didn't think I was going to get anything done today for, you know, you guys. And I got a little bit done. Granted, it ain't much. Like, this is going to be a short video. And the highlight of it is going to be some chickens. Yeah, I got to see it glue this back together. Some chickens dancing in my Jeep. Well, I don't know if it was dancing or not, but they were in here, definitely. And I'm looking for one handle. One handle. It goes on that back tailgate and i don't seem to see it anywhere not surprising i want to put the handle on here because even with the clips it wants to sag right there and the handle will hold it which i'm pretty sure in the new build i had to pull the handle off anyway because the new enclosure is going to come back to like here and i'm gonna try to mount my c-max on it <laughs> i might mount my c-max on this side of it is to miss that handle and get room but anyway guys i'll be back in a few i'm, I'm digging for stuff all right peace hey guys, so i'm done for the day um man my groin where i pulled that muscle it is killing me and you know i got the door panels on i got that one piece on the back hatch we got the carpet draped up on my trailer so the water can run out and it can dry Hell, if it rains this week, I don't care. That's just a good wrench, you know, cycle for it. But got the floor mats are uh, up there on the trailer. And that is pretty much it. I did buy the wife a door handle for the blazer because in a lot of videos, that door handle is rattling and people are like, what the hell is that? Yeah. We're hoping that fixes it. I'm hoping... <laughs> Well, I know it's the door handle, so I actually bought her a new one for the outside. I try to plan ahead, and since we have the door panels and everything off of her doors, why not go ahead and swap the door handle since I can get to it? So I have that, I, and I don't even feel like going out and putting that on. Sorry, this week video sucks. <laughs> you know, I try for you guys, man. I try to make good videos, but um, I'll be honest. You know, I, I needed door panels. And my buddy Seth was like, you can take all the interior you want. The seats were better and, you know, the carpet in that black Jeep is just god awfully nasty. Um, it was when my daughter bought it, you know. And I'm like, why not just swap everything over? And that's what yesterday turned into was a swap everything over. And then today, you know, I wanted to do a little bit. I said I got stuck in terrible traffic. So, something to take away from this video, if nothing else, is things don't always go as planned. Um, because stuff happens. And you know, you're, nobody's ever going to get everything done in a weekend they want to. There are some times that I do and more. But I kind of shoot my expectations of things I want to do on my days off kind of low. And I, even though they were low this weekend, there wasn't a lot got done. Hopefully next weekend goes better and I have a list of things that I can do. Uh, my mids and highs shipped out today. I had to hit Paul at G2 back up. I needed a four channel RCA that is longer than what's in the Jeep for the Jeep. Um, the only RCAs I have laying around here are full tilt and I hate them. They're the worst and most expensive RCAs that I have ever bought. And, and I just don't like them at all. Um, so, with that being said, yeah, I just, I think he's got T-Tech. Like I said, the, the black Jeep's kind of a budget build. 
and being built with things that I have laying around, but I'm not just building a system in it. You know, there's more to it than that. I want you guys to see this ugly Jeep transform on this channel. You know, from the exterior to the lift and wheels and tires, even interior. I want you guys to see it all just to show you guys what you can do with some work and junkyard parts, basically. Um, I don't have a lift kit for the black Jeep. I can't find a sponsor for a lift kit for the black Jeep. I've thought about it, but I don't even know who I would hit up. So, hey, if you work with a lift company, you want to help an old boy out with a Cherokee, I'm all ears, guys. But, um, we like rough country, but we're right. <laughs> so, I'm stuck at that point of I don't know what to do about a lift. And can I physically afford to drop like $1,000 on a lift right now? No. No, I can't. Uh, I don't even, I've probably only made $1,000 from YouTube, like, my whole, uh, <laughs> all year, I might have made $1,000, so that's where we're at, you know, I've maybe made a grand on YouTube this whole year, and I don't want to blow all of it on a lift, but I might have to. You know, I don't plan on off-roading that Jeep, so I can use a cheaper lift. But the problem is, when you lift a Jeep like that up tall enough, put 35s on it, <clears throat> you you have to use aftermarket control arms on the front because, you know, if your point's right here at my nose, see, that's where the front wheel sits. Once you lift it, it falls back like that. So then you need longer control arms to move it back out. I did all that with my hand. That was cool. So even trying to do a cheap route where I get, like, the, the the springs, you know, then I got to buy shocks. Then when you lift it that far, it's going to make the front axle go to one side. So then you need a track bar that's longer to pull it back. <clears throat> yeah, you see where I'm going. And either way I do it, I'm going to get a grand. Uh, but that's, that's another bridge we're going to have to like cross, you know. We will be there at some point. Um. I don't know. I mean, it is what it is, guys. One way or another, we're going to do it. But anyway, that's all I got this week, man. I'm sorry this video was kind of bad. But the pulled groin, I, I, honestly, if my groin muscle wouldn't have pulled because it, it bothers me a lot, I'd have, I'd have done a lot more. I know what some of you guys are saying. Didn't you just have a birthday? You're getting old. I, I feel old today. Like, honestly, I do. I feel old. You know, normally, I, I feel young. And... Uh, I, I'll work, 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 but today's not one of them days, guys, because you're only as old as you feel. Normally, I feel about 24. Today, I feel about 60, so it is what it is. I hope y'all have a great week coming up. I know Christmas is coming up, man. Merry Christmas early for me. There's going to be another video out definitely before then, but uh, I hope y'all have a great holiday. Some people celebrate early, so that's for y'all. I hope y'all have a great holidays. Anyway, guys, peace out. And as always, bye.